Nathan. Cheers, mate. Congratulations. What a night here in Rotterdam. Came into the night under a little bit of pressure after last week, so this must be rather sweet sat there. Yeah, it was. You know, last week I was so disappointed in the performance. Um, you know, I should not have lost that game against Michael, but Michael finds a way to beat me all the time. Got to get that out of my head. But um, yeah, I was disappointed last week, but I felt I played really well over the weekend in uh, Germany. Came in here confident. Um, you know, I was working Tuesday night, played really well, so. I felt great coming into it and obviously good memories from Rotterdam. Um, Peter struggled first game, wasn't nice to see, wasn't nice to play, you know, I'm deadly honest with you. Um, but then, yeah, I thought, you know, capitalise on that. You, you got through a game, didn't really use much effort or much emotion or adrenaline during that match. And, you know, I came back from 4 1 against Luke Humphreys, played really well. I wasn't losing another final. You know, I've lost three this year. Um, I was so focused in that game and I thought my 148 was absolutely ridiculous and that's what women have made the game but I think look, look, look at the league table, massive five points tonight. Strange night all round, plenty going on up there, you talk about the Luke game, it seemed like everyone was complaining about a win and it made it to Luke more than anyone else, was it that bad up there? You all know, I, I can't say too much but all I'm saying is it was bad conditions. But it's the same for both players. Maybe I keep winning it because I throw heavy darts. <laughs> that, might be the, that might be the trick, but now nah, it was tough conditions tonight. Um, but I think, I don't. obviously the players were moaning a bit, but I don't think we, we dealt with it too bad. I thought we just got on with the game. Um, but yeah, it was tough tonight, but I don't care. I want two out of two here. I play in the window all the time. <laughs> the atmosphere out there as well, obviously you played before Michael lost in the in the first round and the atmosphere seemed to, to just subdue a little bit. Did you notice that? I thought there? I thought at the back end of the game, in the in the final, they were cheering me and they were fantastic. But yeah, certainly as soon as Michael got beat, the semi final was flat, the first game was flat. But they're here to watch Michael. They're not here to watch me. They're here to watch Michael. If Barney was here, they're here to watch Barney. Um, you know, I think in England, you know, when you're playing in England, you've got well, five of us, you know what I mean? So you always get behind your your nationality player kind of thing. So it's hard for Michael, you know, he, I beat him last year, his last first game, he feels it, he does. And, um, you know, I, I feel it in the match play when I play it in the match play. It, it is hard to play with the all cheering you on. And, you know, I, I love Mike, me and Mike are good mates and I'd love him to win here one, one night just to, just for the crowd and just for his fans. But uh, I, I was here to do a job. But yeah, when he, when he got beat, you could definitely see it. A swift in the uh, the momentum, shall we say, in the, in the crowd. Nathan, many congratulations. Cheers, Nathan. Nathan, there seems to be a special connection with you and the Dutch crowds. What's well, that? There isn't actually, believe it or not. I actually hate playing in Holland because I'm normally rubbish. <laughs> Apart from Rotterdam, like the World Series finals, I'm rubbish. Any Euro tour, I'm rubbish. But uh, yeah, Rotterdam. Yeah, I might, uh, I might be my family here next year and older. <laughs> and they were singing your song. Mr. Yeah, you know what, the, the Mr. Brightside, I think he's been part of the Premier League this year and, you know, I'm, I'm embracing it. It's tough for me, you know, people just think I'm not on there doing all this. The adrenaline that's going through my body at that moment is 12,000 people singing that song and you're jumping. My heart is going like this <laughs> and I've then got to switch and try and play darts to the best of my ability. And it's very tough for me, but you got to, you got to milk it, haven't you? You know what I mean? You've got to enjoy the moments and, you know, in Berlin, even like the Euro tours in Germany, 12 months ago, they didn't even know the song. Oh, really? They all know it now, word for word. They know it better than me, you know what I mean? <laughs> and tonight, you know, they sung it tonight in, in full voice and they've loved it. And end of the day, we're, to, we're sportsmen, but we're also entertainers. And I go on that stage, trying it, whether I'm in Germany, Holland, Australia, New York, wherever I am, I just want the crowd to have a good time. They paid the money. Enjoy yourself, and uh, they've enjoyed themselves tonight, and you know I've won as well. Thanks, well, great to you. Thank you. Nathan, um, in the final uh, against Michael Smith, uh, what happened in the first leg? The uh, the tellies went off. Uh, right. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> there's no there's no story for you, pal. Literally, <laughs> the tellies went off. That was it. So you, yeah, the TV went off and. It was just literally pointing on me and Michael's big fat heads, and that was it. Oh, right. no, nothing. No. Uh, about the conditions, uh, is it something uh, you talk about with the players? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, very windy on stage. Um, conditions weren't great, 
But I think it, it's not just Rotterdam, to be fair. The, the big arenas, there's a lot of people, there's a lot of area, and people are in and out going back to the bar and, and so forth, so the doors are shut in. So, yeah, it is windy on that stage, but it's the same for all, all players. Rotterdam is probably the worst out of the, the 16 venues. I've not played the O2 yet, so I can't comment on that. <laughs> but um, it is bad, but you just got to get on with it. There's nothing you can do. Um, it's not ideal, but who cares? I keep winning in the wind. Yeah. So, you know what, I, I might get my own little uh, fan at the side of the stage. <laughs> 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 All right, thanks, congrats. Yeah, Nathan, about the conditions. It's something, uh, it happens every year, right? Here in Rotterdam. Yeah. Yeah, they have to fix it, <laughs> I think. You tell it. You tell them that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I can't wait. The wind in your back. The wind. Pardon? The wind in your back. Yeah, it is. It is what it is. I, I think um, I, I purely think it's down to the size of the venue. Yeah. I think the venue is that big. I think doors are opening, doors are shutting. People are walking in and out. People are jumping up. Um, it's it's huge. It's absolutely massive out there. You know what I mean? And you know, wait, wait, if you're a singer or whatever on that stage, the wind doesn't affect you. I think darts is the only thing that happens in this arena where wind will play a part. Um, so they ain't going to change the whole arena for one night of darts, are they? Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's not great, but I can't say what I'm about to say, but yeah, it happens. Yeah, you stay uh, third at the Premier League yeah. right now. When do you think you are safe? How many points? Well, I thought 24 two weeks ago. I don't think 24 is going to get you in. Um, I think Michaels are very close. Yeah, I think um, I don't think 26 is in. If I'm deadly honest, I think for me now I'm aiming for 28. 28. To guarantee. Okay. I think 26 might get you in, but for me I'm on 23 points now. I think in two more wins, we'll, I'll be there. But I think it's testament to the boys. I think it's been fantastic Premier League. You know, even if you don't qualify. This has been my best Premier League, the most enjoyable Premier League. I think the standard has been ridiculous, to be quite honest with you. Uh, and I think it proves why, you know, the eight boys that are playing week in, week out of it. Okay. Uh, something else. Yesterday, Luke Littler said uh, he wanted Eric Ten Hag to stay at Manchester United. You're also a supporter, right, of Man United? Yeah. You also think about that? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, <laughs> listen, I tell you what, tonight I'm Stockport County, right? <laughs> Stockport County, who's won the league on Tuesday night. I'm going on Saturday watching the Luther Trophy. So, Stockport County got promoted to League One. Eric Ten Hag to stay. Egg one's happy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Yeah. Have you? Um, yeah, one more Is it that, is it, uh, that big difference uh, with the wind? Can Massive. You see it if you, if you throw it. Massive. It's. Yeah. Yeah. If you play, if you play darts, mm. when when you're an amateur dart player, people might put a dart board outside. Mm. They're like yeah. that. They go everywhere, and it's not quite outside standard, but it's not far off. But end of the day, we're professional dart players. You've got to get on with it. It's poo, but who cares? I will. Yeah. <laughs>